Today we are going to learn about rounding. To round means to approximate a number to the nearest ten, hundreds, or thousands. Approximate means to find an answer that is close. When rounding, we are finding the two boundary numbers. This chart is, can be used for rounding by tens. If you look at these numbers right here, this is some of our boundary numbers, and these are our other boundary numbers when counting by tens. Look at number 12. The boundary numbers for 12 are 10 and 20, meaning that 12 is between 10 and 20. When we round, we are looking for which boundary number it is the closest to. So looking at 12, looking is it closer to 10 or is it closer to 20? 12 is closer to 10. So 12 rounded to the nearest 10 is 10. Let's look at another one. Let's look at 48. And I look at the two boundary numbers, meaning 48 comes in between 40 and 50. Then which one is this closest to? 48 is closest to 50. So 48 rounded to the nearest 10 would be 50. Again, when we count by, when we look at numbers, we look at which boundary number it is the closest to. This chart is looking for the nearest 100. So instead of counting by tens, it would be to the nearest 100 is our boundary numbers. So either they're going to be between 0 and 100, or 100 to 200. So if we look at 130, and my boundary numbers are 100 to, and 200. When rounding, I'm trying to decide, is it closer to 100 or 200? So you can see 130 is closest to 100. So 130 rounded to the nearest 100 is 100. If we take 690, my two boundary numbers are 600 and 700. 690 is closest to 700. So 690 rounded to the nearest 100 is 700. Let's look at boundary numbers on a number line. Here I have my boundary numbers, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. So when I'm looking at 45, I ask, okay, does it go in between 20 and 30, 30 and 40, or 40 and 50? And 45 is in between 40 and 50. So 40 and 50 are called my boundary numbers. With the hundreds, same thing. 171 is it in between 100 and 200 or 200 and 300. So 171 would be here. And my boundary numbers would be 100 and 200, meaning that 171 is in between 100 and 200. Some vocabulary words we will see when rounding. The word about. When we see these words, it tells us to round. So when we see about, that's one word that tells us to round. An example, about how many pieces of candy are in the jar. We don't know exactly how many are in there, but we can estimate and round. Another word would be estimate. When we see this word, it also tells us to round. A little rule to remember when rounding. Five or more, let it soar. 
four or less, let it rest. What that means is that when I'm looking at number 27, I am looking, if I'm rounding to the nearest 10, I'm going to underline the 10 spot and circle the 1 spot. And then I'm looking at the 7, and I ask myself, if it's 5 or more, let it soar. 4 or less, let it rest. So 7 is more than 5. So that means we're going to go up. I come back to the 10s and I change the 2 and add one more, makes it a 3. And this looks like a 0, and so it stays a 0. So my new number is 30. 27 rounded to the nearest 10 is 30. And if I was looking at my number line, 27, my two boundary numbers are 20 and 30. If you look, this number is closest to 30. We're going to look at another way to check out how to round. It's called balloon rounding. When I round to the nearest 10, again I underline the tens place and I circle the number in the ones. And like holding a balloon, I have five fingers holding a balloon. And I'm going to count and let go of one finger at a time. So if I did one, two, three, I'm going to count to five because that's what number's in my one spot. So one, two, three, four, five. If I have all my fingers let go of the balloon, then the balloon will go up. Which means this 2 will go up to a 3, and this stays a 0, and it rounds to 30. Again, even though I have hundreds, if I'm rounding to the nearest 10, it's very important I under the 10 spot and circle the ones next door. Then I go to my balloon, I'm holding my balloon, and if I cross out one, two, three, four, my balloon doesn't go up. I'm still holding on to it with my thumb. So nothing happens. It lets it rest, which means this stays a three, and this becomes a zero. Anything on the right becomes a zero, and this just stays the same. So 234 rounded to the nearest 10 would be 230. Let's try it again. Round to the nearest 10 means I underline the 10 spot and I circle the ones. And holding my balloon, I count my fingers. One, two, three, four, five, and I don't have to keep going because my balloon already is going up. So even though I have six, once I hit five, let it soar, this four is going to go up to a five. Just add one, and this becomes a zero. So 46 rounded to the nearest 10 would be 50. Let's try this one. Nearest 10, I underline the tens place, circle the ones, hold on to my balloon, one, two, three, four, five, and my balloon is already going up. I don't have to keep going. So the seven goes up to a eight, and my nine becomes a zero. So 79 is closest to 80. That is the nearest 10. Now rounding to the hundreds, it's the same thing. I'm just going to underline the hundreds place. So here, 345, I underline the ones place, circle the number next door. Now my number's four. I'm going to count holding my balloon. One, two, three, four. I'm still holding to my holding onto my balloon. It does not go up. So this three does not go up. It just stays. And then anything after it becomes a zero. This becomes a zero. This becomes a zero. 
345 rounded to the nearest hundred would be 300. Okay, let's try this one. Rounded to the nearest hundred, I underline the hundreds, circle next door. Holding on to my balloon, I'm going to count this number. One, two, three, four, five. My balloon is going up. So my number next that I underlined, this is my number I underlined, is going to go up. One. So it becomes a nine. This becomes a zero because I look that's what it looks like when you circle it. And anything after it becomes a zero. So eight hundred and ninety-four rounded to the nearest hundred is nine hundred. Let's try rounding to the nearest hundred again. Underline the hundreds place. Circle the ones. I'm in the one next door. So I have four. So I'm going to count four holding my balloon. One, two, three, four. So my balloon does not go up. My thumb is still holding onto it. Four or less, let it rest, meaning this eight is just going to stay the same. This becomes a zero. This becomes a zero. 842 rounded to the nearest hundred is 800. Again, underline the hundreds place. Circle the spot next door. Holding on to my balloon, I'm going to count this out. So I have five. One, two, three, four, five. Once I let go, my balloon goes up, just like my number that I underlined. 1 goes up 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2, and this becomes a 0, and this becomes a 0. 156 rounded to the nearest 100 is 200. Now you try. See if you can round these numbers to the nearest 10, and these to the nearest 100. So again, you would underline the number in the 10 spot, circle the number next door, Five or more, let it soar. Four or less, let it rest. Same thing here, you would underline the hundreds, circle next door, and then change the last two into zeros. Go ahead, give it a try.